I designed Explainer, the swing training aid, about 15 years ago. And if you had a lesson with me prior to that, at some point in proceedings, I'd have given you a roll of white electrical tape. And I said, I want you to go home and put the white electrical tape on a window or on a mirror where you can see a reflection of yourself and put the white tape on the glass, exactly horizontal, level with the ground, but opposite the upper sternum. So if my body is an axle and my arms are spokes, that is the, the ideal plane of rotation in a horizontal plane. So if we then imagine the white tape on the window, you can see that the sweet spot of the club and my upper sternum are in line. And then the person could practice at home and they could swing back and they could see in the mirror if they were in plane, were they below or above, they could see. So it was a great mechanism for teaching plane, particularly with the longer clubs. So if I turn my shoulder across my throat, I'm in an ideal horizontal plane, I can come through and there's my follow through. And I think you can appreciate that I'd remain level with the tape that was on the window. Now what happened was that pupils found that very helpful and it made their driver, fairy woods, and, uh, long irons much, much better. The problem was it was such a flat image in their minds they started to hit shanks and hooks and blocks with the wedges. So I thought I'd better stop teaching that. So I stopped and I only used the white plastic tape to help people's plane when they had trouble with their longer clubs. So I needed to teach people to swing in a plane that was varying according to the club that they're using and to their own physical height. So that's where Explain R came from. It came from understanding the swing plane in a horizontal mode and then inclining forward to become a golfer. So if you take my body as an axle and my arms as spokes, you can see in very simple terms that is a human golfing wheel and the hub of the wheel will always be here. I can bend the spokes and bend the axle, this will still be the hub. I can take this wheel and incline it, but the thing is, the top of the sternum will always be the point of where the spokes, the play of the spokes is 90 degrees to the rotation of the axle. So, how do we set explainer? Well, if I want to simulate a six iron swing, I would just make sure that the, road, the upper sternum is in line with the swing plane. So this is a little bit on the flat side. So I'm going to just make it explain a little bit more upright. I can then check using this dowel rod and I can make sure you can see that. So I'd be here with a wedge and I'd be a lot flatter if I were using a driver because the club is a different length. But to appropriate a six iron swing, I used this long power roller at the bottom of the grip. So there we are, just checking. Explain us through the upper sternum. I can now start to build a swing. All the way. So, as you can see, the swing plane is unique to your physique and to the club that you're hitting and to the shot you're trying to hit. So we have to adjust explainer to take those variables into account. But very simply, if you draw a line from the sternum to the ball, that ball to sternum line, that is the appropriate swing plane for your body and the club that you're using. Many of you watching this will not be aware as the huge difference between the plane of a wedge to that of a driver. It's really very significant. We don't tend to pick it up when we're watching golf live or playing golf with our friends, but I can show you very clearly with Explainer the huge gap between the plane that a wedge requires to that of a driver. So, using the Explainer power roller, by going down into the middle of the grip, I can treat it as though this were a wedge. And what you'll see is I've made, I've already set the wedge swing across my upper sternum. So now I have a swing that is upright, has lots of wrist hinge as you can see, and I'm in plane, you can see that the tip of the power roller is parallel with the fin, 
I don't have to look at it, I can feel it. I can feel it's there. I don't have to look or check. It's truly kinesthetic. I can feel my way to the plane fin. I can come through. Okay. So, if you're using the short power roller, you can simulate any shot from a sand iron through to a six iron, just according to where you hold the club. So, I'm going to need the longer power roller now to simulate a driver swing. You can see the difference. The driver is 44 to 45 inches long. So, if I hold the roller here, you can see the massive difference between my driver swing plane and my wedge swing plane. It's absolutely a huge difference. So here I am with the wedge, across my upper sternum. I now move back up the handle and I leave that point behind. It's about 15 inches or so. So, very simple to adjust. can now offer the driver length roller and check that my posture is good. So you can see how much I flattened the plane but the pure point of reference upper sternum and that's what the dowel rod reflects. So now I'm practicing swing that is much flatter because the club is longer of course the club head travels more quickly So, very clear with explainer, you adjust the explainer to suit the club that you're swinging and you can see that the driver plane was here and the wedge plane was up there. So it stands to reason that your posture must adapt. So therefore when you're setting up an address, when you tip from the hip to build the grip, that's how you find your swing plane for the club in use.